psalm for the day. Come before him with thanksgiving and the highest praise for how could we have made it this far without God and his many blessings in our lives. This message is taken from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young Morning Devotion, and I quote, Thank me frequently as you journey through today. This practice makes it possible to pray without ceasing, as the Apostle Paul taught. If you are serious about learning to pray continually, the best approach is to thank me in every situation. These thankful prayers provide a foundation on which you can build all your other prayers. Moreover, a grateful attitude makes it easier for you to communicate with me. When your mind is occupied with thanking me, you have no time for worrying or complaining. If you practice thankfulness consistently, negative thought patterns will gradually grow weaker and weaker. Draw near to me with a grateful heart, and my presence will fill you with joy and peace. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Psalms 95, 2 through 3. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms, for the Lord is the great God. Psalms 104 through 5. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Good morning, warriors. By the grace of God, let us remain hopeful and thankful for the coming year. God reminds us in Philippians 4, 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. He will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Above all today, let us thank God for all he has done for us this year. Let us bring to mind above all the things we serve a generous, patient, kind, merciful, ever-loving, everlasting God who died on a cross, shedding his blood to save us. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Let us pray for our family, our country, our world, and our leaders. Let us pray for God's beloved people in Israel and Ukraine. Let us bless others when we see a need. Let us be grateful receivers for all God's blessings.